Pants. This is Ryan Ryder with Triple R Investigations. I recently got a call about um, questions on registration and um, target use in open areas such as fields, wooded areas, maybe uh, open roadways. So I wanted to um, go over the parameters and try to help you get your uh, scans registered. So uh, remember your kilometer can um, help you in these situations so make sure you're um, scanner's ready to go and balanced. Um, then we're looking for two more targets. Um, if you get three in there, you're better off. And um, know what your target size is. If you've got the 140 or 200 um, millimeter um, spheres in the field. You can also use the uh, checkerboard targets. Um, just make sure your um, distance is appropriate. So when we look at this, um, remember resolution. Um, is a big thing. You're going to have to go up to probably at least one-fourth and uh, make sure this distance is appropriate for your uh, um, sphere size. Okay, so we're trying to register that um, visual from the sphere, get those 80 points, and green means it's going to register um, and get those scans together for accuracy. So when we're looking at 140 millimeter sphere, you're looking at 60 foot when you do one-fourth. And that's 60 foot at one fourth distance to your sphere or checkerboard to get it registered. You can jump up to 90 if you're looking at 200. Okay, so if you're doing that, you got to strategize appropriately to make sure they're in the good position. They're visual, heights are very, and they're not linear. And um, you can get those scans registered. Okay, so remember your your setup if you're going to use a uh, um, the checkerboards make sure they're not linear you're varying the height or you mingle the spheres with your checkerboards and uh, that could help you get your spheres um, a little bit of distance between the two of them and um, don't forget to uh, don't bisect them uh, it might mess up your um, registration process or recognizing those and uh, make sure if you're using the checkerboard targets you try you get them on a flat plane um, so they'll register that point. Um, the other side is your strategies. If you can get your centralized area where you can use minimal targets and then move your scanner around the area, um, very good strategy. And that way you can use your 60 or 90 foot distance to get those um, three plus targets in each scan. So you get their overlap and the um, spheres can help you register. So when you get to the point of registering, don't forget during processing, recognize your spheres. Uh, make sure you have the right radius set up and it's active. And once you process those and it finds the spheres, then you're going to have to register it um, target-based. And a target-based registration, um, when you use this, and that way it'll um, um, hone down your distances and your error rate. If... Um, Centralized doesn't work. Don't forget the traverse option where um, you leapfrog your um, spheres and targets around the area and then close them in at the, the last with your original set. So once again, um, if you're using a spheres and checkerboards as targets, process them. Make sure you turn on, activate your appropriate size for your spheres. Um, Turn on checkerboard targets if you use them. And then when you register them, do target-based registration, and you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, um, look us up at triplerinvestigations.com. Our phone number is 682-325-1442. Hope this helps. Take care.